Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux on Windows 10, this time also using the Windows subsystem for Linux. So for those of you who have watched my previous video where I covered how to install it using a Docker system, uh, you can see now that um, they have finally released it, so thank you so much. Uh, to the Kali team, uh, you know, for releasing this on the Windows Store, making it uh, easier to install. And also, there were a lot of errors that people were faced with uh, in the previous video, where we use the Windows, uh, where we use the Linux workspace uh, switcher that allows us to uh, change distributions. And again, uh, as I spoke of uh, in the previous video regarding uh, installing Kali Linux uh, on the Windows subsystem for Linux, is that this is a fantastic opportunity for many distributions to get on board with this, and it allows them to get uh, an even better, you know, user base, and you know, possibly can convert these people uh, once they try it out to use, um, you know, in any one of these Linux distributions. So it's a great thing overall for the Linux community in the sense that many people are able to try it out really easily. Now, when it comes down to Kali Linux, they released it, um, I think about two days ago, and I wanted to go through it to make sure that it worked without errors, and indeed it does. The installation is smooth and it is uh, error-free, uh, at least it was for me. So to get it installed, you need to make sure you have your Microsoft uh, Store open. I'm not sure how many times you've opened that up, but I'm really, really glad that I have uh, this time. And you just want to search for Kali Linux, all right, very simple, simple stuff like that. And uh, just give it a few seconds to load the results up. And there you are, it should be under the apps section. So just open that up. And uh, under the apps section, you should have it and it uh, it should prompt you to install it. You can just hit install or download. Uh, the file is about 122 megabytes. So just get that downloaded. And once you launch it, which is what I'm doing, it should start up the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now, by default, if you don't have that in, uh, uh, if you don't have that enabled on Windows 10, you can go into your control panel go uh, onto, uh, into in, uninstalled programs and turn on Windows features or, on or off. And you want to go uh, just wait for the Windows features, um, uh, this little uh, menu to open up. And you want to go to the button and you want to look for Windows subsystem for Linux. And you want to make sure that that is checked, all right? So you want to make sure that that is enabled and just hit OK. And then you can launch it, all right? So I've launched it and uh, by default, it's not going to give you this screen. It's going to prompt you to install it. And then it's going to prompt you to enter your username and your password. So I've already done that, so I don't need to do it. Now, the most important thing that many of you will be wondering is, can I install the penetration testing frameworks? And the truth is yes. So if I just try and first of all, update my repository, so app, uh, app get update, uh, which is well, again another error that some of you faced in the previous video. And the reason why is because you had to create your own, um, your own repository file uh, and you had to uh, finally add your repositories in there and then you can go ahead and update. So in this case, let's just update, which is I, rec I really recommend it. And it's going to ask you for your administrator password. I'm going to hit uh, enter. I'm just going to enter my password. And there you are, as you can see, it is uh, successfully getting the headers and there you are. Fantastic. So just give that a few seconds to update the repositories. And then finally, you can upgrade them. All right. So I'll, I'll get back to you when this is done or actually it should be done now. Don't worry if you get the uh, the sec configuration uh, or the sec policy error. That is uh, something they have acknowledged as well. The next thing again is you can sudo up get upgrade, which will upgrade your packages. And I'm just going to hit enter. And as you can see, there you are. I've, uh, I've upgraded mine. So they're up to the latest version. Of course, uh, the latest of what has been installed. Now, by default, this does not have any penetration testing tools installed, pre-installed, that is. So to get it installed is really very simple. What you could do is just sudo apt get install. Uh, let, let's see something really simple because I don't want to install something like Metasploit framework. That will take a while. So I'm just going to try something like Wireshark. Uh, hopefully that is in the repositories. So I'm just going to hit enter. And as you can see, yes, also, this is quite a large download. So 653 megabytes. And no, I'm not doing that right now. But if you just hit yes, as you can see, the download, uh, the download process begins. And that's how you install your penetration testing tools. So I have tested this and it works. Now, one thing that you will be facing uh, or will be an issue, but uh, really not an issue, a serious issue is the fact that Windows Defender of course, as we know, will block most of the penetration testing tools when they're downloaded. And that's because it will categorize them under malware or viruses. So what you can do is you can just launch your, your run command here and just open up your app data folder. Uh, for some reason, that's, oh, sorry, my bad, app data. 
app data and you want to go into your local you want to go into your uh let me see if i can remember that programs or uh, was it programs or packages i can re 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 packages yes packages and you want to go into your kali linux package right here and you, you want to copy this directory here because this is the folder in which Kali Linux is installed uh, using the Windows subsystem for Linux. So just copy this address and uh, now you want to open up your Windows Defender. So let me just do that right now. So Defender, there we are, open Windows Defender and we can go into virus and threat protection. We can scroll all the way to virus and threat protection settings and we move on so for those of you who want to disable it completely you can just do, you can just disable real time protection and then you don't have to add an exclusion which is what we're doing all right so you want to go into exclusions and add or remove file exclusions and you can see by default i've already added mine so any files downloaded in this folder will not be scanned or uh we will not be detected for malware or viruses so just close that up and by default you can see that this is still downloading wireshark and uh, yeah, that was how to get Kali Linux uh, set up, uh, of course, using the Windows Store, courtesy of the Windows Store. And this is really something very, very exciting. And uh, again, it's something that I talked about uh, th that has, uh, you know, a huge potential. And uh, we'll be looking at this in future videos because this is something that I want to cover and I want to explore the, uh, the possibilities here. So I'll be making a review video where I'll be going through it. And uh, as a follow up uh, for this video, I'll be making a video on how to install the different desktop environments on it. So you can actually get the desktop interface working or desktop environment working. Now, the most common one that has been uh, currently configured correctly is the XFCE. So I'll probably start off with that. And then I want to look at some others like the, uh, you know, like KDE, et cetera, et cetera. But that's for the next video. So as you can see, the download is currently working and, uh, uh, you know, straight out of the box, uh, it should all be working and you should be able to run penetration tests uh, from the subsystem. Anyway, regardless of that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found value in this video. If you please, if you did, please leave a like down below. Uh, as for your questions uh, and your comments, you know that really you can hit me up in the, in the comment section or you can hit me up uh, on my social networks or on the website. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.